Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to Satisfactory. Alright, nothing on the tier because uh, my tier is locked out until I upgrade. Ooh, I can build 70 modular frames, so I could upgrade the stuff in there. But well, I'm going to go right now and do the quartz, because now the end of my uh, quartz line should be up here, because I wasn't able to finish it. I don't think I finished the... I, I don't think I have enough power lines, though, so... I think I had to go back further for the power lines. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to bring cable, didn't I? Oh no, I got cable. Lots of it. Ah, there's, there it is. Sweet. Oh yeah, I was thinking of running it straight up that hillside. How do I get up there? That's the question. Maybe I'll take a little adventuring around here first. Ooh. I have a raptor army on arc. Nice. Alright, so... I'll show you how these annoying little flies work. Oh, they take two hits with this crappy weapon. It, they sometimes can swarm around you in such a way that they're hard to deal with. And they're like, they really are kind of bumblebees because they bumble around, they ragdoll. That was, that went really well, so. Oh shit, there's more of them. Come here! Here they come. Once you get the upgraded Xeno, Xeno Basher, you can one-shot him, like, taking care of business. Alright. Oh, there's more of them. They're ki they kind of, uh, they often put creatures around things like slugs and artifacts. Right. And they kind of like sporadically chase you, which makes them much harder to kill because sometimes there's always one that's just freaking minding his own business, being a bastard. Oh, he got hit in. What a bastard. This is a, oh, a yellow power slug. Okay. All right. Oh, good. I can connect to that. Now, how to get up cliff sides. So, if you're lucky like me, there's just a, basically a hill for me to walk up. If you can, then what you have to do is... Um, oh, let me show you here. Go to these conveyor poles. That's the best way to go, usually. And you can just build them up like this. There's a ladder on either side of the conveyor pole, and you just go up as high as you need, and then you can jump off. And that's how you delete. So, that's how you get up stuff after unlocking the conveyor poles. You don't have to use the, the belts anymore. Just snake up, like, snake up the mountain like I did on the other time. But sometimes you do still want to snake up and down. Alright, anyways. Uh, did I bring the power line out here? Yeah, I cannot see the power line here. So, I'll just finish the conveyor first. This is where the conveyor line is going to go. Down, right down here. I do cue that. How do I get rid of that? Ah, whatever. Let's just run for it. Conveyor's gonna go right into the second floor of this building here. Quartz for me seem to be like one of the best ways to dump resources. You can also uh, put them into a constructor to increase the value of the, re the same resources and then increase the kind of tickets that you get out of the. Uh, Awesome shop. So here, keep going. So after I build this, I can just run along the conveyor to finish the power wires. And build. Maybe I'll build a constructor at the other end. Nah. I want to build. Uh, I want to bring in raw quartz so then I can choose what I want to. What I can do with that resource, right? So if I bring in raw materials, it's easier to manufacture that than to. Uh, bring in a finished product. Finished product means I'd have to bring out a separate line if I needed the raw resource. Yep. There you go. I'm gonna bring that down. I think I'll just go over here and start building it out from here. Okay, so there's my buffer storage. That means I can dump anything into the awesome shop. Without this I can't just put in put things in directly. 
Uh, I'm just figuring out what side to go out of here. Like, if I go out on this side, I'll be cutting off the. I'll be cutting off the fix it shop, which is, I mean, the yeah, the fix it awesome shop. But I can also just make it like a little, it's a little bridge here. Yeah, so I can just like run to the shop, and then. I'm not going to do the lift here because I have no idea what the finished product is going to look like. Survey belt is too steep, allegedly. Let's just drag this out as far as it can go. Let's make it a bit. Nah, let's put it on a conveyor pole. Let's keep it civilized. Because later on, yeah, I'll, want, I'll probably be driving a truck around here, so. Something to always keep in mind, especially, I mean, of course you can find out the hard way, but you know in advance, it could save yourself time, if that's your thing. I'm the find out the hard way type of person. <laughs> I don't know. And even when I learn something, I might just go back to my old habits just for the hell of it. Now the worst thing that could happen in here is if the uh, the the conveyor was facing the wrong way, but it's not facing the wrong way, so that's good. Well, since I'm going to be coming from this direction, I may as well uh, start the power from over here, because by the when I arrive, right, it'll be live. The power will be live. There's a jelly bean. It's walking towards me. Oh my god. <laughs> See what I mean? Look at this guy. He's just having the time of his life, isn't he? Oh, cool, I'm already here. I thought I still had a ways to go. I mean, it sure felt like a ways to go anyways. <laughs> Put a power line here, and... Is that clip? No, it doesn't. It actually goes through... If they're on the level, it actually goes through the conveyor conveyors between the first and second level of the, that one anyway. It'll go between them, that's what I'm trying to say. Last time there was bad guys out here. I think I killed one, but the other one still may be alive. Oh, look, there's the pole. Let's get this party started, folks. I think they're both pures, which means a ridiculous amount of production. Of course, my conveyor line doesn't support that, so it's irrelevant. Seems good. Ah, plates. Before I forget. End up running down there again. No plates. Oh, what am I doing here? Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Whoop. Oh, missed my appointment. Damn it! Not enough. What oh, how is production, by the way, here? Okay, this one's choked up. Why is it? Why is it stopped? Oh, stand by because... Because why? I don't see a good reason why that stopped. Um, I guess I will try a merger here. A splitter here. I don't even know if this was going the wrong way. I, uh, right way, I didn't even check. Right, yeah, that's fine. Okay, splitter. Now, I gotta line this up pretty much perfectly, or otherwise it might try to create a bend which cannot be satisfied. Okay. Let's run that in there. That way, it's production. I mean, presumably I've got this ready for smart plates, right? And so that means the constructor is just waiting here to be turned on. But since, you know, I have all the resources lined up, I must well start making plates. Because I don't think a hundred is going to get me to where I want to go. Uh, I don't. I think I should build some more of the base out while waiting for the plates to build. Let's see what's going on in here. So smart plating, yeah, it requires uh, reinforced iron plates and rotors. So that's strictly iron. You don't need wires and stuff. So, oh, 
over there or adjoining this building I haven't decided yet. I think considering the design of this building this would have to be adjoined like maybe have a conveyor lift gap in between so I can run these um, conveyor lifts in between maybe a double gap for that kind of like an air gap and then just have another building of the same kind go up straight up here and there's not a lot of stuff which is strictly wires right so a lot of products there's just cables and wires that's all so the other stuff that wires get built into are hybrid I'm gonna see what I see if I can expand my line some more I wonder if the quartz has arrived let's go take a look so one of the lines is done, but the other line is still building, so... I don't think it will reach here. Uh, with 250... That stuff. Ah, there we go, this is great. Mission Quartz completed. In you go. And it's going to go straight into this uh, awesome machine, the awesome sink. Now, feeding raw quartz into here is not as good as putting the refined quartz in there, and I'll, I'll set that up later. So right now I have one coupon. Oh, that means the, the stuff has just arrived. We may as well just leave it in there. Oh dear. Does that mean my power is not good enough? Aha! My power is not sufficient enough to power my base. So, time to build another pair of these. I don't have coal yet, right? I haven't. There's a. There's no coal generators on my uh, build list. Oh, that's out of line. I can't have that. Sloppy crap. Oh, the quartz is coming again. So this is kind of a, as long as you have power, it's basically passively filling the uh, the awesome sink. Now, my understanding is like, first of all, the value of the uh, each coupon that you get out of the machine, it reduces uh, its value. No, it's a uh, its value increases the more you get. So. Basically, the more demand that you give it for coupons, the more resources you have to fill to get more tickets out. So eventually, any resources of any random type will decline in value. And the, re the individual resource itself will also decline in value. All right. Uh, maybe I'll just run this. The side here, like that. All right. So basically, the longer I put quartz in to this, the machine, the less valuable it will be, and the less, the more valuable the ticket will be. So there's kind of a seems to be a double effect going on there. I'm gonna run this. Try to get it through the conveyor in this way. So yeah, like the the longer adventures you go off on, the more stuff that the base can produce for you, as long as you have enough power. So sometimes it's just a good time to go off and do your own thing. All right. So I saw that modular frames are going to add another. Uh, what do you call it? Another floor to the base. That's what I see there. I cannot reach that. It's facing the wrong way. Can't have that now. Ooh. Yep, there you are. You're offending. Wall. Oh, the building didn't collapse. That's good. Alright. Where's my stairs? Okay, up we go. I might be able to start up smart plate production now. 
This is rotors, right? Rotors and plates? Am I even running the right stuff here? Oh, okay, I need uh, reinforced iron plates. Here's the rotors, cool. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Uh, two. Oh, really? You gotta play it that way? Fine. There you go. That's one part. Now, let's bring up the reinforced iron plates. Okay, these are making the rotors. Confirmed. Now, the goods. I could run it this way, or I could run it out this way. Let's see if I can even put this thing in first. Splitter. Oh, you're being nice to me today. Cool. I don't want to run it out of my storage, so... Yeah. You can just run it sideways. Alright. Let's do it this way. Let's start it over here first. Uh, yeah, that should be good. I, I got an angle if I do that, right? So I think that's flush. Let's check it out. Oh. Well, that's uh, not ideal. That is, though. So what are you waiting on there? Are you waiting on plates or what? Ah, okay. Slow plates. Slow on the plates. Alright. I'll take a hundred of these out so I can feed it into the smart plate machine. Up we go. Up we go. Two floors. What is this thing? Eight floors by now? I want an elevator. So this thing will also have to run around. Maybe I should build conveyor poles here. To keep it real, you know? Ah, I see it down there. Up you go. Alright. Time to use conveyor poles as a better... better builder. Alright. You can allow me on top of there? Nice. So yeah, even inside of a building, this, these things are going to keep keep it neat for you. Okay. Thinking about where I need to split off, so let's try that. Hopefully. And... Yeah, sweet. That's actually better than I anticipated. Smart plates. Ah, yes, I will need power, though, won't I? Let's go back to here. Power lines, where are you? Well, it's just it's this one, that's fine. Look at that crap. <laughs> oh man. Light it up like a Christmas tree. Sweet. Are you producing already? Yeah, cool. Well, let's give it a let's give it a push along. Do, 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 do. 50 should be good. Whoa. Okay, coupons. How many do I have? Nine. That's a good number. Print off your coupons. Yeah, put them in your inventory. Go right to your shop, which hopefully isn't too far away. Okay. So here are my options. Nine is a pretty good number. You can get a couple of things with that. Uh, you can build conveyor walls. Which means you just port the uh, conveyor straight into the wall without having to leave a gaping hole in the side of your building. Yeah, much better. Uh, doors, just for aesthetics. So you don't, again, so you don't have a gaping hole. And then, it's a gate wall. I don't even know what that's for. They don't have a gate. Window walls. Okay. I don't remember single window. Is that a new addition? So anyway, yeah, window walls 
Uh, if you have a huge building, be careful, because it will turn your computer into a zombie. It won't work properly. Alright. Walls attachments. Okay, so, uh, conveyor mount. You can strap conveyors to the side of buildings. Just run them along whatever side you want. Hypertube attachments. So, when you get hypertubes, this will get you in. Same with the pipes. And the power, right? So, I was complaining about running power up the... Uh, like stringing all the way up the side of my ironworks, this one will allow me to make it a lot neater. Of course, I'm gonna have to prioritize my spending because they don't give you all the coupons right off the bat. You have to, uh, you know, save up a bit. Foundations, this is a good one too, uh, especially this one, the double ramp pack. So you can free build. There's certain places and certain directions you cannot build with the regular foundations because of how you have to place them. And you have to do like a lot of like tinkering around. Uh, this one eliminates that. You can just build off into space if you want, or down from space into the earth. Yeah, it's good. I like this pillars. They look neat. And there's an assortment of other things like corners, which I'll make use of later on. Oh, they have a glass foundation. I don't remember that either. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, the fix-it factory cart. So once you have a big factory. This thing is pretty cool. It's kind of a goofy machine. The, the coolest thing about it is it takes no fuel. It takes. It doesn't allow you more than one resource slot, so it has an inventory size of one. So it's just to get you around, and it's pretty fast. And because it's free on fuel, you can actually set up a parade of these in autopilot and have infinite. This is the same as building a conveyor, I guess, but you could have infinite autopilot machines. Just don't need to be refueled, but it's really, really inefficient. Uh, really, really slow to set up because I mean, you only have an inventory size of one. Ah, uh, this is. Why did I just jump? Maybe there's a little bean creature right next to me. All right, uh, factory railings. I like these. Makes things neater. All of this. This is all good, and this all adds up to nine. So I'm probably gonna buy all of these. Um, can buy certain equipment and parts which the more stuff you research the more opens up I've never used it for that because it's just better to have a good production but uh, I don't know I guess if you're feeling lazy and you want to just spend some all right so I'm gonna get the uh, the organization pack and buy them all any talk any like description by whatever her name is Amy or something Alright, um, so if the ones I bought are found in organization. And I can just build whatever I want from here. Stairs also, these also require plates, uh, and there's also walkways. So for my factory build, these uh, foundations up here are too fat. They take up too much space, and they're a bit unsightly, so I will eventually build in the walkways. Or the stairs, I haven't decided yet. Uh, they will probably take the same amount of space. Alright, well, anyways. How's it doing? Got some more in there? Ah, right, cool. Just keep feeding that monster. I will try to finish my quartz now. I mean, my quartz research. I think quartz leads to the overclockers. Or is it no power slugs? Right. Because I. Oh, it's like. I found yellow ones, but I didn't find a green power slug first, so it put my research back. Usually you find green ones first, right? Oh, I don't need to slot in there. Let's just research this. Here we go. So each one of these you need to research to get the, uh, the overclock, right? Oh, no. Ah, cool. Let's just keep researching before I use up these uh, little beasties. How do I do this? Oh. All right, I right click. Forgot how to split the stack. All right, um, power slug. So I can do this one already. There we go. And of course the mighty purple shard. Overclocking. This is the one I want. Oh yeah, I've got a little animation here. It's analyzing the rods, I guess. <laughs> and so on. Let's 
give those stairways a shot. Let's go to number nine. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And number nine can be I mean number nine this foundation. Should be alright for now. So these are actually narrower, so it allows you to walk beside it, but can't really that means you can't build in the rest of that square. There you go. See, that's a lot neater. I can fix all of these later. This one's gonna stay as a ramp because obviously vehicles cannot go up there. Well, the factory cart can go up there. You know, that's useful for you. <laughs> Ooh, uh, how am I doing? I'm gonna guess 13. Oh, sweet! I got 50 smart plates, which means I for sure can f finish my uh, first tier of the space elevator. Yeah, happy about that. Come on, come on! I mean, production's doing okay. Shows you how bad my production in my original game was. <sighs> Noob level maximum. You're mine, yoink! Okay. Finally up here, yeah. I mean, I could have built this on the ground, but that's too easy. Alright, 50 smart plates. That means this thing's gonna do its work. It's first, first time. Load. It has a cool little extra animation there. After you seal it, then you send it. There it goes. Let's check out this bad boy. I don't know, I guess the stuff is in here. Boom! Send some kind of pulse and up it goes. And that is the easiest space elevator unlock. Now you can see the next one. 500 smart plates. 500 versatile frameworks and 100 automated wirings and these are a bitch to make and these are kind of a bitch to make too but these are the nasty ones right here but don't you know the first one is done so now I can see what the next tier unlock looks like and all the building deliciousness let's go here where am I going right let's see what I can access now Tiers 3 and 4. And the thing that pops out of my eye right here is vehicular transport. And let's have a look at them all. Ooh, coal power. I already have the production so that I could unlock coal. That's great. And my coal is just over here. So while everything else takes longer where I've built my base, this will take shorter than building in other places. Vehicles! The first vehicle unlock being namely the tractor. Um, yeah. It's not a great vehicle, it really isn't, but it's your first vehicle, so just go to enjoy what you got. And a truck station, so you can actually do automated onloading and offloading. I think you could probably use the fix it cart too, but anyway, there's your tractor. Uh, the main benefit of this is not actually moving product because you're still in early game but it's actually just exploring the safety so exploring the safety meaning that you've got a bunch of bad guys coming after you you can just jump in the vehicle they won't damage you and they don't damage the vehicle even though the vehicle has a uh, life meter it doesn't seem to get damaged by much it's like if the the fire breathers breathe at you and you jump into the vehicle then they can damage the vehicle. But you can drive the vehicle off the cliff and then at the last moment jump out of the vehicle and you're safe. So yeah. Cartoon game physics is awesome. Uh, all right, basic steel production. So there's the versatile framework, the steel pipe, and the steel beam. So I need coal and iron, I think. That's what I need to run that. And that's uh, that will need like full coal production over here to get that running and also 
Yeah, the iron. There's iron on the other side of this uh, canyon, so that's what I want. About steel production. Steel production's far away, but the m the main attractive thing here is a Mark II miner. So pure ore nodes, already being the best, get doubled here. Uh, yeah, it just doubles it. All right, uh, what else is here? Hey, can unlock this at any time too. The Xeno Basher, which will make for safer exploring. And uh, hyper tubes. Well, that was earlier than I realized. But yeah, this makes getting around like this is better than getting around by vehicle if you have a place where you're always needing to get around. And then Mark Threes and better storage. So yeah. Those are the preview of those tiers. I could unlock. I think I'm going to unlock this one ahead of time. Because uh, I like to be safe. And this thing that I'm holding is trash. Really makes you feel at the mercy of the. The wild lines. All right, there you go. If I load that in, at least I can see what I need to go collect. Okay, what do I need? All right, I need wires and cables and two rotors. Yeah, I'm jumping now because I'm happy. I got, I got stuff done. Okay, so I need fifteen hundred of those. What's, what have I got here? Hundred. Oh, let's just put that in there. And I will pick up 300 of these. There we go. Oh, I need some more rotors in there. Press the big red button. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. There you go. Scrape in the building on the way up. Awesome. So now i got to figure out how to build that thing. Uh, for that, I need the equipment shop, and that's up there. Unnecessarily excited. Here we go. Let's build this. Oh, nice and slow. Here it comes. Here comes the Xeno Basher. Sweet. All right. This is just like the other, the crappy zapper, except... Get ready for it. Boom. Yeah, taking care of business. It has a more dangerous sounding swing. I think it's twice or near twice as powerful as the shitty zapper. I believe it has zapping qualities in there. Alright, so the next thing that I would unlock will in the next episode. Uh, coal or vehicles? Maybe I should get uh, modular frames under production. I think so. That, w that will allow for adventuring. Alright, and so that brings this episode to a close. I set out to tie in the um, let's check my type. I set in to tie in the, the all the quartz, and that's been done. Now I have like, two lines of quartz coming in, and they're just basically feeding the uh, the almighty awesome sink. I also set out to unlock the next tiers by doing the smart plate production, and uh, yeah, loading and sealing and sending the product up into space for phase one. So now I have tiers three and four open to me. I've got a preview of uh, tier four going on by getting the Xeno Zapper, but uh, the next episode will be focusing on tier three. Hopefully getting that done. I don't know. I think the tiers, they start to build up a bit slower now, right? So I can unlock them faster, but actually building into them and using their the equipment and buildings and 
facilities is a different matter because that's just uh, that's just base expansion. And then um, yeah, I the next thing I plan to unlock is vehicles. I just want to check my um, title here. Oh, the last part of my title was to flesh out the ironworks. I did that a little bit by uh, putting in a couple of ramps, but I didn't get much of that done. So uh, I basically need more coupons from the fixed machine over the hill there, and then build in window walls. So yeah, that should be better. And I also need to build a ramp up into here and close off the building. So that itself would be its own episode. Uh, just actually focusing on the ironworks, but for that, yeah, window wo window walls, conveyor walls, and uh, power adapters, and yeah, the, uh, the walkways. So yeah, there you have it, that's that for this episode. Uh, I'm just going to go over to my main map, so if you want to stay for the stream, awesome. So here we go. We are at the top of a mountain at the pinnacle of production. Here's my train station. I'll take a ride on that and then you can really see my base. But this is uh, isolated because there's a nuclear power plant. The thing about nuclear power plants are nuclear waste. So that's why it's up on a hill because it looks cool and it's far away from nuclear waste. It's serviced by a truck uh, which drives around by itself picking up the nuclear waste and dumping it into a cavern so that we don't have to see it anymore, right? Because invisible problems are not problems at all. We just bury it under the bed, basically. There's a there's a deep cavern down there, and I dump all of the uh, nuclear waste and do all the other nuclear refining that needs to be done. All right, over here. Oh yes, here is my base. Let's take a look. There, you follow the train line down here, and. That weird looking fan thing there, that's my conveyor lines. I believe it's up to 46, I could be wrong. Compare that to the space elevator. It's like the conveyor lines halfway to the space elevator itself. Um, there are... There's the oil production, the oil facilities, and coal, uh, not coal. There's an expanded iron production over here. Over here's a shopping mall. So I have all my product going into one. There is copper production here. And extra miscellaneous production here. And where's my ironworks? My ironworks is like behind this hill here. Steelworks, I guess you should say. I should say. Uh, there's also... So in my other game, I've started... I'm basically through here on the other side. There's the, the big watering hole on the other side here. So all my coal productions there. So let's go. Let's let's take a train ride. So I can go as fast as I want, and the train's just going backwards. I don't have any cars on here at the moment because I haven't got to that part where I have a production that needs a train line. I just like conveyors better. So the thing with trains are they need a they need a shallow grade. So can't go up pretty much about five percent. Oh, game's slowing down today. All right, here's my little uh, spiral. Elter Skelter. The nuclear power plant is pretty much near the top of the game, and my base is pretty much near the bottom of the game. So I have to get the train line a very far away, and this part. I could have done it with more zigzagging, but since there was a, a natural pillar here, I decided to just wrap it around. We're getting near the bottom of it now, finally. The next part is the waterfall trip. You actually go under the water. Those uh, are hyper tubes, which I'll illustrate later. Oh, there goes my truck. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's taking nuclear waste. If I get too close to it, I will get sick, because... Unless I put on my, throw on my hazmat suit, so... Uh, there's that to consider. I can't make perfectly straight lines in some places because of the way that the building mechanic works. You need like very wide turns basically. 
but sometimes it yeah it, it allows it or whatever. All right, so yeah, this is a massive bridge over there. Up that hill is the my original yeah it's my original quartz factory uh, for production. It runs down a long line all the way to the base. It's about 1.5 kilometers. Okay. Down below there is uh, expanded copper production. Uh, over there are, uh, what is it, coal I think? Extra coal? Okay, here's the steelworks. There is a lot of stuff going on down there. It will take too, too long to explain. So this is the thing I s we saw earlier from the map. The refinery. Alright, I'm right here. This is the conveyor line, all feeding in to this thing that I call the shopping mall. And we have arrived, finally. So now, let's take a look at the uh, hypertubes. I use hypertubes in my shopping mall so I don't have to walk as much. That's right. I'm lazy. Okay. Here's the... Uh, I don't know what you call this. It's like, like the adventure floor. So all the stuff that I would need to go out on an adventure should be here. Like, uh, I have, you know, ammunition. So let's check that out. Chainsaw? Nope. Here's this. Gun. That's actually pretty good. Let's have. Let's load up some. Where's this thing? All right. There we go. So that's TNT. You can blow stuff up, except your own base. So that's cool. These all go to different floors. Um, trying to figure. Out. I haven't been back here in a while, so this should be the upper floor and the lower floor. I go look at the. Uh, let's go look at the lower floor here. All right, so this is how my shopping mall works. See this steel block? That means I got steel in here. See these pipes? That means I got pipes in here. I got stuff. This is like the cornucopia of most things. Now imagine I had that many smart plates right now in my other game. Boom, I'd be done. Modular frames. What else do you want? Ooh, advanced heavy modular frames. Well, production isn't perfect, but we're filling up slowly. This, bit, this uh, floor is also designed to cater for buildings if I have to, you know, load up a truck. Now I want to go back up to the uh, other floor. I just take the elevator, so to speak. Up we go. Now, more appropriately, hyper tubes are used to get across your base. So. Rather than walking or taking a vehicle, this will get you where you need to go. Here is my central hub. Now, this is basically a hypertube station. Not fully fleshed out, but uh, yeah, there it is. All your lines are connected together. How's my time? All right. Here's my hub. It used to be down on the ground. There you go. It used to be down there in that mess of stuff. Uh, right down there. There's iron and stuff down there. Impure quality, not very good, but that's where I started. Started in the new ways. And yeah, it's just basically all the basic production is going on down there. It's not very. It's not at its greatest efficiency because that's where my base started. All right, so. Now, I'll just show you my coal works. Everything else you've pretty much seen except for my nuclear and geo production, but those are like individual trips. That's a way for me to get down to the ground. So if I jump from here, I'll take the stairs. It takes a long time. So I just, poof, go down there. Anyway, coal. So I need to go up there. If I walk past this hypertube, it'll suck me in. So I go like that. Let's go visit the coal plant. That's just where I'll finish things off because where I start in this stream is also where I end, but in a different account. Oh, over there is, uh, what do you call it? Aluminum production, which is really high level stuff. As high as the nuclear power plant, which you see all the way over there. Alright. Piping in, uh, there's also silica that has to come in as well. Alright. And here you can see all what you can see. The coal works, yes. A lot of coal production. 
Now it's like overtaken by power, uh, nuclear power, but the coal is still running, of course. Boom, out they go. Where's a good place to see all this? I don't know, really. I'll just see it at the ground level. So, over there are coal production, and over here are coal plants. There's coal plants everywhere. I don't know, I've probably got like 20 or 30 of them. They require um, water to run. And a lot of coal, of course, obviously. It used to be just uh, over here, but then I had to expand over the water because coal production was getting so extreme. And in addition to that, I have a whole bank of uh, biomass burners just in the background there, like where the, co the uh, cross is there. So there, in the middle of the screen, there's biomass. There's like 10 of those as well because what happens is when your coal goes down, you have to jump start it because it requires water that needs to be pumped and the water pumps need uh, uh, electricity to run so if your electricity goes down and you don't have pumps you can't run your electricity so those those uh, biomass burners work as jump starters so my production in my other game was around maybe 300 my power production here is 6000 because of the nuclear power plant so normally I'd be running at 3,000, I'd be quite close to the line, but the nuclear power plant really, like, sent it up. Aha! Does this place look familiar? It should. Of course, I'm capitalizing on the, the iron over here. There is where the hub is in my other game. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Where does my... Uh, Hypertube come out. Okay, my hypertube comes out over there. Whoa! Alright, so there you have it. That is a, an overview of my main base. And, uh, yeah. Hope you like it. It was, uh, it took a long time to build, but it was a lot of fun. And, of course, because it's, like, building from the ground up without experience, there's a lot of, like, new mistakes in there. But, uh, it's come along quite a ways. And I think that's a good place to leave off. So I gotta go. Thanks a lot for coming by. And in the future, maybe after next week, I might start putting uh, Satisfactory on another day, on a casual stream rather than on a on a weekly one. And, and I might be putting in another game, such uh, in this time slot, I might be putting um, either uh, GTA 5 or uh, Kerbal Space Program gives it a more formal time for because uh, I just started playing GTA 5 for the first time and that's uh, might take over this time slot or it might be Kerbal Space Program and then GTA take the other slot uh, so Satisfactory will take on a more casual presence and that's just to go with market demand alright that's all have yourself a good afternoon, good evening and good night and see you later, bye bye